What's that? So the crown, I actually. I think you brought something yes, here. I is it behind did. you? Don't worry. It is. Take it is your time. Me. Here we go. And there it is. So this is a model. Um, I use this model every single day at my office. I will. I probably use it with every single new patient that comes in. And it basically describes a couple of different things. So the model here shows an implant, which you'll see right here in the middle. Um, and the implant is composed of three different parts. So the actual implant is this um, screw-looking thing. Okay. And obviously it's not that big in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this is just um, for show and tell. This is just for show and tell, guys. <laughs> um, so basically when you look at it, it comes in three different parts. So you have the implant, and then you have the crown that sits on top. Right, and this is cemented onto the implant. But you have to need something that connects the implant to the actual crown, which is uh, this little guy right here. So this is called an abutment. And this is basically just the piece that screws onto the screw. Okay, so that okay. goes under. So, and that goes and it gets attached onto here and then afterwards Voila. the tooth is put on. Okay. Right? So an actual crown is a little bit different. The reason why you need a crown is sometimes when I'm going to um, hold it because I want it? you to do it with Good. this hand so they can visibly Good, see it. Good, I would it. love that. Yeah. So sometimes when the cavity is too big and it takes over more than half of the tooth structure, mm -hmm. uh, the tooth can be filled with just a regular filling because then the tooth will fracture and um, it won't work. So, so you basically, would put the metal thing first in the middle. So this is an implant. The crown I'm going to show you on this other okay. tooth. So basically what happens is we clean up the tooth and we have to shave around the tooth in order to use the crown. So the crown I tell patients is kind of like a shoe that's fitting on a foot. So when we shave the tooth down to make the tooth it kind of looks like this. Mm. Right? And so this piece shows that this is like your actual uh, tooth structure which you can see here. This is the top part of the tooth and then here you'll see the roots. Um, and then we take a mold of this and we send it to the lab. And so the lab will actually fabricate this crown all in porcelain. And there's different types of crowns. Nowadays we use porcelain, some uh, zirconia, which is um, a lot more aesthetic. And basically what we do is we take this and we basically cement it onto the tooth. And that is exactly what a crown is.